definitely, definitely I'm definitely, definitely true to uh, true to myself, you know. Mm. Yeah, and I, I too, I feel, I feel. Um, sometimes you think in your head, like I don't know if I should say this because right, I don't know right. who's gonna listen to it or I don't know who's gonna see this. But you get to a point where you're like, I don't give a fuck who sees mm. it, I don't give a shit who listens to it. This is how it is, and this is how I'm gonna tell it. And yeah, if people don't like it. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm definitely, Touché, I'm definitely on, on the that's same. That's their fucking problem. Yeah, you know? I'm, I'm definitely on the, on the same train, but also like, if you're people, on the same train, if, if, if people are like listening to it, and I know people are listening to it, it's not so much that I'm like, you know, um, what was the word, uh, I'm, like limiting myself or like, you know, not saying certain things because I, I don't know how people will take it, but I'm also like conscious of like, you know, of. of of what I'm gonna say, I don't, I don't, I don't want to say something if I know that like it's not true. Like, oh, I'm, I'm full of integrity or whatever, whatever. If I know that I'm not like a hundred percent into whatever I'm saying, so I guess that's the only thing that I'm kind of, I am conscious about what I say just because I don't want to be a fucking like hypocrite. Of course, mm. the only that's the only thing that that I am kind of like trying to make sure I'm not like you know, well yeah, dude. over exaggerating basically. Yeah, I mean. You can't walk the walk. You can't. Some people, a lot of people do though. A lot of people get on. Oh, you know, a podcast. lot of people talk. That's talk. what I'm saying. Yeah. Everybody fucking talks the talk. That's what I'm trying not to do. You want to walk the walk? All right, everybody. We had a really good episode this week. Uh, the majority of this week's show was talking about the differences between when we started the show and now. So we actually went back and Andrew listened to the very first episode of the Everyday Hustle Show and picked out key points and talked about topics from each one of uh, the members. We also talked about the t-shirts that we're going to have for sale for everybody and executing on ideas, which is a huge uh, topic in all of our lives. So everyone, thank you for listening and enjoy the show. Welcome to the Everyday Hustle Show, where we're figuring it out together over time. On the show, we'll be giving you the tools you need to take your career and life to the next level. So get ready for interviews and topics that will give you a competitive edge against the shuffle we call life. Sure, we might get into some heavy topics, but we also like to laugh and have a fun time too. Are you ready for the show? Here's your hosts, Jesse, Andrew, and Christian. All right, welcome everyone to the 31st episode of the everyday show just want to take a second to say thank you to all the listeners out there who have been following along with us on the journey yeah um it's been quite a process it's been an awesome learning experience for us all so far so if you're out there and you and you're listening and you keep listening just want to say thank you um it's you, you guys are the reason why you know we're doing what we're doing chris you want to say anything to the listeners yeah, same the same thing, man. Thank you guys for for checking us out. <clears throat> you know, listening to especially like for the people that have listened to like every episode. You know, because I, I know at least I know of a few that I've talked to that have personally like you know reached out to me and they they've been sticking with it. So appreciate it, Jesse. You want to say anything to our oh. listeners? I mean, you guys, uh, you guys hit it. You know. All right, so we're gonna be posting a video. Um, well, this is it's, this is this is actually it's Sunday right now. We're recording the episode on the same day that we're going live with it, which is the first time that we have ever done that. No, I think we did it like at least once. We did it one other time, maybe. But um, so we're gonna be posting a video tonight. Yeah, kind of like as a promotion for the for this episode um, that we're giving away a T-shirt, and um, that that's been really something that that I wanted to do for a little bit now um, and I kind of want to talk about that for a second because it's not so much about the t-shirt you know you guys understand what I'm saying yep you know Mom, Jesse you know <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm, you know what I'm saying dude so like all right so so it's more about executing on an idea mm. right and I feel like in life I just get so tired when people just keep fucking talking about right. ideas and shit. It's just oh, like, it's dude. so mean, dude. Yo, it's, it's so like, mean. yo, listen, like, it's cool and shit. Like, yo, congratulations. You want to have a conversation and get intellectual about some shit. Mm -hmm. But like, dude, don't talk to me fucking 10, 20, 30 times about some great idea that you have and never do shit. Right. It just gets annoying. Huh. You know, Jess? Yeah. <laughs> 
So basically, <laughs> what I want to talk about real quick before we get into the show and our topics, um, which is incredible, we're going to talk about the very first recorded episode tonight. Oh. We're going to take a look back. I got some things. I, uh, Jennifer and I, my wife, shout out to my my pregnant, beautiful wife. Jennifer. Shout out, Jen. J Lo. Um, so we listened to the entire first episode last night, and I got some notes and stuff, some things we're going to talk about as a reflection back to um, almost eight months ago. Um, <laughs> but so the T-shirt, right? So we had an idea. This is this is where I want to get at with the whole idea and execution thing. So we had an idea for the podcast, right? And Jesse had wanted to start a podcast, you know, a year or so ago called The Average Joes. You remember that? Mm. You remember that or no? <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's not talking today. I don't remember ever <laughs> naming it. I remember the idea. Yeah, no, you were just like, I want to, I want to, like, instead of having a podcast where like famous people come on, I just want to like have like average people come on and just talk about their life. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I remember. Yeah, I remember. So, and then I was like, yo, well, I was just talking to Christian about a podcast, and then we kind of like all put our heads together, and um, and like it's really cool because in the first episode we talked about like. We just had an idea, and then bam, like we were in your room with the equipment recording an episode, which is really cool. Um, so we had that idea, and we executed on it, right? And then from that idea, um, we we recorded the first episode. We then reached out to a guy that we know who could do logo design, graphic design, and I think it was how much did it cost? A hundred bucks? No, I don't for I don't the logo. Think Oh, yeah, it was like hundred bucks. Fifty bucks. I think it was cheaper, but honestly, I can't remember to be honest. Uh, it was somewhere between fifty and hundred bucks. <clears throat> excuse me, mm. for the logo, right? And um, so uh. we had a podcast, <laughs> we had um, a page for it, and we Website. had a logo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we 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 so we had an idea, and then all of a sudden, poof! Like we had all that all this tangible shit. Yeah. You know. Um, which I think is really cool. And then and then we had photos and mm-hmm. we had videos and we had, you know, all this stuff. So, you know, we I wanted to, 30th episode, wanted to give something away. So I was like, yo, let's do it. Let's do like a like, t-shirt. And then like, it wasn't so much about the actual physical t-shirt. Like we got the t-shirt in the mail, right? right? Because we wanted to find a way to get like just a couple shirts, right? Everyone that we talked to was like, yeah, it's going to be like $500 startup. You know, you're going to have to do all this stuff. And I was like, well, man, I don't want like 20, 30, 40 shirts. Like, I just, you know, want to be able to. We're you know. stuck with uh, a yeah, bunch of Yeah, because they would probably just move. collect dust. Right? So, like, Christian's working on this other project, which, you know, I'll let him tell you guys about if uh, he wants to tell you about it when the time mm-hmm. comes. But essentially, you know, we found. Uh, I heard about Shopify, mm-hmm. right? All the time. Jesse, you know what Shopify is? I never is? knew about it until uh, until uh, this uh, this uh, venture. Yeah, so basically anyone, like even if you don't have any design experience or anything like that, can can start like a clothing mm-hmm. line. You know, because what it allows you to do is it allows you to design a product and, and build an online store, but actually not spend money on the merchandise mm-hmm. until it's actually ordered. So the way it works is you build the website or the store, quote so unquote, which you, is through if, Shopify's hosting. And if you already have a website, you can add it on? I'll get there. That's a great question, Jesse. I'll get there. Mm. So the Shopify was like um, twenty nine ninety nine a month, right? And then you can have you basically have your own. It was it would be like your name dot Shopify dot com, right? So basically, you're paying them for the hosting and the store and all that stuff. Um, and and this is nothing new. This is kind of like old news with this mm-hmm. with this website actually. But I just never actually like looked at it. Um, so I did that, right? We had the T-shirt up there. Um, and then, cause there was a, a free two week trial and then I actually ordered the t-shirt, right. And like a week later we had it in the mail physical. Yeah. So like, it was just really cool to go through that whole process. Um, but then, yeah, if you, if you have an actual domain or you have a website with, you know, you, your own, you know, um, server, you can, there's apps and programs that you can run on your, on your server that can link up with that company, which is Printful. Um, Printful is the company that you can get. T-shirts, hats, socks, blankets, all that stuff made up, and, and, and it's all direct to garment stuff. Some is embroidered, but it's basically it's not screen printed, so that way you can just get one, get five. It's the same cost. Yeah. So um, now I have you know my website andrewnice.com/shop, which is going to have all of our merchandise for the podcast on it, and any other merch that I you know try to sell is going to be on there too. Um, so that process was just really cool to learn about it. 
and to actually have an idea to execute on it and then have a tangible product. Like we have the shirt right now in our hands, you know, we're going to give it away and it doesn't matter if you're local. It doesn't matter if you live here or you live somewhere else. We're going to ship it to you at, at no cost. Um, you know, all that we're going to ask is that you like comment or share, um, a post on, on Facebook. We're going to do it through Facebook because the last one we did through Instagram. So we're going to try to get a little more traction on our Facebook page mm. and, uh, see what happens. Mm. Yeah. It's exciting. It's beautiful. So anybody have anybody else have any ideas that they're executing on right now? Uh, you touched on it. I mean, me and my friend Abel uh, from high school, he's a graphic designer, and I've used him for a lot of graphic design work, um, even for some stuff like Shout Flipkiss. out to Abel. What's his company called? Aguila? Yeah, his last name, Aguila. Uh, Aguila Creative. Creative, yeah. Creative, yeah. Fire yeah. designer. He does incredible shit. Yeah, and, and he's like, he, he's been really doing, you know, trying to do a lot of stuff, man. He's been, he's been you know, he's got his own podcast. He does like, you know, Facebook Live stuff, and, and he's been... He's been doing great stuff, man. And um, so, yeah, so I, I wanted to do something with him for a while, you know, besides just, you know, hiring him for, for work. So we, you know, we, we got on a call and, and um, we've both had clothing brands in the past and we wanted to start something a little bit, you know, different. And so, you know, our, our idea is basically to have like every single drop honor like a certain member in, in, in Mexican history. So essentially, it's going to be like, yeah, it's going to be a clothing brand, but it's also going to be a little bit of, um, you know, research for us because for us, you know, we there's some stuff that we don't really know about or actually a lot of stuff we don't know about. So we're not only like teaching ourselves, but hopefully bringing like a little bit of awareness to people who might not also know about it. So it's like it's cool because it's learning for us, but it's also hopefully our plan is to, you know, bring like a little bit of awareness to, you know, what these people did. So, mm. and you're going to do that through your, through your merch. Yeah. Yeah. So it's more like you guys are going to have like an online presence and a message and stuff like that. And if you want to support the cause, the yeah. merch is how you, how you rep it. Yeah. Cause we, we, we have clothes that we feel very, you know, confident about and, and we're going to be putting them out. Um, actually the drop is, is going to be coming up pretty, pretty soon within the next like week, um, week or so. And we'll, we'll put more about more stuff about that on our, on our, uh, social media, but um, like we'll also have like a blog, like to go along with it, to kind of give information. We'll give like articles and books that, that you can learn more about the person. So it's going to be, you know, the clothing and then also we're going to do our best to kind of, you know, let people research themselves and kind of give them like a head start. Right on tight. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so Jesse, any ideas that you're executing on right now? No, none. Okay. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to – we're going to talk about the first episode here real quick. And I'm going to start with you, Jesse, because Christian and I have just been talking for the past 10 minutes straight. Mm. Um, so the first episode was recorded probably when? Like early December? No. I think so. Mid. Mid-December, released January 1. Yeah. Something like that. All right. So, so we were talking about – we talked about a lot of good stuff in that episode. Um, so the first thing that you talked about was you were making a decision between like mm -hmm. working as a starving artist or, you know, taking a different career path. Oh. Oof. And right <laughs> now you're definitely in a point where you are not the starving artist. Okay. You're yeah. definitely a company man right now. And I want to know how you feel about making that decision now. And if you ever miss that taste or that glamour of being a starving artist? Well, I never had much glamour in that field. It was just like bits and pieces. And it's a really cool, it's a really cool thing. Um, but I've kind of, I've like worked myself into this point where it's like not really tangible to do both, mm. you know? Yeah, because like I, I wanted to ask like, you why you did why you're not because you were doing Live Nation once or twice a month and now you're not doing it at all. Well, I think so it's why because did that happen. They they called a couple times, which I don't quite understand, but they called to offer me jobs that didn't fall in my availability. So they'd call and be like, "Hey, we got something for you Tuesday night," and with those things, you never know. Like it could. It could be a two hour thing. It could be a nine hour thing. And if I got work the next day, like I just can't, 
And you, you can't give them, you give them your schedule, it. right? Yeah, my schedule yeah. was like I'm available Friday night, Saturday, or Sunday. Right, right. And I've done a bunch of Sunday ones that I probably shouldn't have even done because they only started at 5 p.m., went till like 2 in the morning, and then I had to be at work at fucking 5.30 the next morning. Mm. And it was like every time I did that, I was like, fuck, this sucks, you know? <laughs> yeah. So it it's like it was cool. It's awesome. But I think I sort of blacklisted myself by saying no a couple times even though they asked me to do stuff when i couldn't have done it you know but it's not i still get emails from them about like the union thing so i'm still like a part of it i think it's just like they might i might be not only am i low seniority but like i got pushed back to some point of the limit like where they're like well you know, this guy isn't always available when we offer him stuff. So we're just going to go with the people we know need the work. Are there guys who do that full time that make, can make, yeah. And I was actually just talking to my mom about that on the way here. She asked me, whatever happened with that? I'm like, and kind of told her the same thing. And I'm like, you know, I think I you know explained it the same way, but I'm like, if I didn't have a job, it would probably be a whole nother thing right. because a lot of that stuff, you know, even though a lot of times concerts and stuff go on on a week weekend, <clears throat> there's a lot of like midweek shows and stuff that yeah. like I'm just completely not available to do because of work. So plus not only that, but they do um, like I got to do a bunch of the stuff at the Kravitz Center that, you know, for musicals and different mm. shows. But the Sunday night work is the teardown. All uh, that sti- yeah. stuff gets set up on like they they load the stuff in, the tours show up at like Tuesday during the day. Mm-hmm. You work all day and then the next day and then once the stuff's set up, they run all week or two weeks or however long the show's in town and then they tear out Sunday nights every time. Right. So I'm always going to miss the load in, which is a lot of times the better part right. of, you know, if you're just showing up to tear everything down, you're not really seeing the process what went it. into the process, you know? So it's like, it's cool, but like, I'm always almost at this point where you're getting like a little taste, but not even like knowing that you're not going to be able to yeah. go any further with it as long as my circumstances say the, stay the same. And like, you know, part of me is like, man, that would be awesome to do that all the time. But the other part of me, like I stand by my decision in having like, or f- a for sure thing, you know, Monday through Friday where I know exactly what I'm going to make. I know the benefits. I know like what goes into that. And yeah, it's not like, Oh, when I was a kid, I dreamed of being a fucking manager at a concrete production plant, but it's like a, it's a sure thing and it's a career and there's, I've already been able to advance and there's more room for that. So it's like, you I drank mean, the Kool Aid, dude. <laughs> yeah, and I, I've always well, listen, been. It's p- okay, dude. It's okay. I know, but it's I've okay. always, I've always been the person who like, and I think most is part of like the human condition that everyone tends to think that like the grass is greener on the right. other side. But there's always pros and cons to everything. And as much as like in my mind, I'm like that would be awesome. Like, there's no set schedule to it. There's no right. There's no telling if you're gonna work all week or if you're gonna work five days that week. And it's like. I kind of, I kind of, I stand by, you know, yeah. what I end up going with. I think with, with anything like in this, in this exact scenario and look, you talked about a lot of good stuff in the first episode. You talked about, you know, hustle means to you is what, what's finding what's important to you and doing it inside or outside of work and doing what you love, you know? Yeah. So I think with that, if you loved the audio stuff enough, you would go, you would go through those sleepless nights and you would go through the pain and the struggle of getting to the point where you could do that full time, you know? So maybe it's just not where your heart's at. You yeah. Know? And that's so, the other and that's thing. That's okay. You know? I feel like, uh, at one point in my life, it probably was, was, and now it's just like, yeah. I mean, I, I like it and I enjoy it, but I'm not really willing to really take if it the doesn't risks. set you on. Yeah. Cause if it really truly set you on fire, then you would be doing it now. Cause you, you had an in that not many people had the opportunity to get, Yeah, you know, and let me tell you what, dude, I went to a concert on Friday night 
and it was fucking awesome, dude. And the All sound, the, the yeah. live sound was unreal, dude. And they had cameras and all this shit, mm. TV screens. Like, it was like you could watch it on the screens. Like, yeah, it was yeah. from TV. Like, oh, it there's looked, so much that goes dude, into it, dude. it was unreal. And, like, we were in the lawn, which were the shittiest, <laughs> the shittiest seats possible, right? The audio was incredible. Mm. It was amazing, dude. It was like, it, you, I, was, I was, like, probably a half a mile away from the stage, but it sounded like we were, like, right there. Yeah. yeah. That's so the I could imagine, thing, like, though. being a part of that whole right. production and putting that on. That that three hour show. I'm sure these guys work all day, mm. probably multiple days in a row to put on that three hour show. But it's just like, dude, it's like it brings up so many emotions in people, and yeah. it changes people's moods. Yeah. And people are out there, they're dancing, they're screaming, they're having a fucking amazing time. Getting lit, getting lit, <laughs> dude. And that's that's the other point of this. So, you know, I went to school for this stuff, but like in hindsight, it was a long time ago. You know, a lot mm. of, I mean, the basics have stayed the same, but now a lot of these new, like, digital Advances, boards yeah. and shit, like, are way beyond my knowledge. So when you go to the, when you get to the point where, um, you know, you're starting to get back into it and they're like, you know, I'm there for a teardown, there for a teardown. And the one time I got to work, like, audio setup. Mm. like, they're like, hey, you know, you went to school for this stuff. Hey, go patch this fucking... <laughs> <laughs> this fucking monitor rack into the fucking crossover and then make sure the fucking highs go into the fucking amps. And then, and I'm like, yeah. I'm like, oh, you know, like it's kind of like it was a little beyond me. So not only like I love it, but there's it's like a whole nother learning thing, yeah. too, because I've been out of it for quite some time. You know, I know like basics, but when you get into like, I mean, this shit is so fucking advanced yeah. now. It's such a cool <laughs> thing and like a lot goes into it that a lot of people don't understand but um you know i'm not unhappy yeah with what i'm doing good i mean i i wasn't definitely wasn't getting at that i think you were getting at that you (laughs) son of a bitch no dude come on i'm just kidding okay and then another thing that i wanted to um talk to you about was you had a couple good really good quotes Mm, quotes yeah yeah one was i work my ass to the bone and the other one was <laughs> best quote. Best quote. The other one was, "I'm slaving away for the man." Yeah, that is. I want to know true. if you feel like that today. Oh yeah, it might even be worse now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, uh, that's the thing. Like a, a lot of it uh, with where I work, like a lot goes into it. Mm-hmm. But those two statements are still true today. I feel like it's more a, a mental a mental slave to the game type thing, you know, like some days are super easy. And like, if you could just go in there and like make concrete and fucking ship it out, like it would be super easy, but all the extra shit, there's so many different things that come up on a daily basis that make it a lot more demanding than that. But, um, it's going good, you know, but I definitely, I definitely work my ass to the bone (laughs) and I definitely, uh, so Still most days I'm a slave to the man. Yeah. But that's all right. It's what I signed up for, you know? Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? You'll never live down the I worked my ass. Oh, uh, no. Quote, I listened back to that when we first made it and I was like. All right, because listen, here was one thing on on there that I wanted to, I wanted to, you know, ask you guys about it. We talked about like being natural in front of the camera and being mm. natural in front of the microphone and the podcast and like. It actually, we really didn't sound that bad. No, but I remember, episode. I remember how awkward it felt. Yeah, 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 it, yeah. It, it, thing is, is it feels awkward, right? When you're when you're doing it, but when you play it back, like it doesn't really sound that bad. Yeah. And when I played back the first episode, I was I was almost impressed, um, because we were sounding very natural. Mm-hmm. But I mean, how do you guys feel? Now? I mean, I've been like fuck, video recording everything. Yeah, yeah, We've been yeah. taking pictures. We're always in front of the microphones. We're doing. Mm-hmm. So I mean, like, how do you how do you Chris? How do you feel now? Do you feel like you act natural? In front of like cameras and microphones and all that, are you comfortable now? I'm more comfortable, yeah, for sure. Yeah, Mm. yeah, more comfortable. Jesse's definitely more comfortable. I'm definitely, definitely I'm definitely true to uh, true to myself, you know. Mm. Yeah, and I, I too, I feel, I feel. um, Sometimes you think in your head, like I don't know if I should say this because I don't know who's gonna listen to it or I don't know who's gonna see this. But you get to a point where you're like, I don't give a fuck who sees Mm. it, I don't give a shit who listens to it. This is how it is, and this is how I'm going to tell it. And yeah. if people don't like it, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm definitely, I'm Touché, definitely on, on the that's same. That's their fucking problem. Yeah, you know? I'm, I'm definitely on the, on the same train. But 
Also, like, if you know people, what I'm saying, I'm if, if people are like listening to it, and I know people are listening to it, it's not so much that I'm like, you know, um, what was the word? Uh, I'm like limiting myself or like, you know, not saying certain things because I, I don't know how people will take it. But I'm also like conscious of like, you know, of of what I'm going to say. I don't I don't I don't want to say something if I know that like it's not true. Like, oh, I'm I'm full of integrity or whatever, whatever. If I know that I'm not like 100 percent. Into whatever I'm saying, so I guess that's the only thing that I'm kind of I am conscious about what I say just because I don't want to be a fucking like hypocrite. Of course, yeah. the only that's the only thing that that I am kind of like trying to make sure I'm not like you know. Well, yeah, dude. over exaggerating, basically. Yeah, I mean, you can't walk the walk. You can't. Some people, a lot of people do though. A lot of people get on. Oh, you know, a podcasts. lot of people talk. That's to what talk. I'm saying. Yeah, everybody fucking talks to talk. That's what I'm trying not to do. You want to walk the walk. No, you want to be there with the tool ready. Like that type of shit is what I'm I'm trying to like get better at because then it'll kind of help me out too when I get to the point where I'm like ready to start working right, for right. myself. But um, I got a, I got a question for you, dude. This is actually really bugging me. Uh oh. We spoke about this briefly before the show. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I've known you quite a while, but I never actually put two and two together. Yes, I'm Mexican. So just so in case nobody knows. <laughs> Christian has been driving around for four years without AC in his truck. No air conditioning. And he is an AC guy. AC guy for the past four months. So, right. (laughs) But is there no desire in your heart to fix that AC unit? There is. Yeah, 100%. 100%. You think after the conversation we had this morning that you may be more... uh, Inclined to fix said AC? Yeah. yeah I mean, I've been, I've, been he, wanting, I've been wanting to get it done for a while, yeah. He put it out in the universe now, ladies and gentlemen, so... All right, it's out in the universe. So, you said that you wanted to, to um, podcast to create content and an atmosphere of someone who is in the process of becoming. Yeah. In the process of doing. Mm-hmm. That was just fire, my brother. Deep. First off, I just want to say that was amazing. Mm. You did a, that. You dropped some <laughs> knowledge right there. Yeah. Um, but do you feel that we're that we're doing that? Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, because literally, like you said, you you go back to listen to the first episode, and if you were to get like cliff notes of every single episode, I mean, I'm sure you'd be able to see the slow like traction of us like actually getting stuff done. And like talking about it, talking about like how we feel through the process, and I mean, if anything, it's at least for me, it's um, it's it's been cool to to be a part of for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel like we did a pretty good job of bringing on people who are in the process of becoming, and mm-hmm. you know, highlighting their journeys and our journeys, and yeah, kind of just you know, creating. Yeah, really, we're really, we are kind of creating that atmosphere because for for this hour. And even like after when we're hanging out here and we're working on it and we're clipping out stuff and we're working on the audio and working mm-hmm. on the video, like that whole atmosphere is, is about, you know, becoming and doing and changing and, yeah. you know, bettering your life. So, um, that's really cool. Um, so if you want, Chris, I texted you my stuff. Um, so if you want to just kind of interpret that however you want and you can ask me, um, a few questions about it if you want. Yeah, definitely. Um, so it looks like here in this, in the first episode, you were talking about cashing in on your, on your, uh, passion. So I guess essentially figuring out what it is that you love to do and how to make money off of it. Right. That's what yeah. you're, so talk about that. And your okay. Process so with it. yeah, right on. I mean, so there's, it's kind of sucks cause I already know what all the questions are on there, <laughs> you know? And I know that, um, I think Kyle's the only one in there right now, right? <laughs> Yeah. Blue Surfer. Blue Surfer. <laughs> Yo, shout out Blue oh, Surfer. Shout out to Swinson. Um, okay, so so the only um, I know what's on there, but cashing in on your passion, right? So I LLC'd a company after I got laid off from my previous job, mm-hmm. right? And I have made money doing photo, video work, design stuff, mm-hmm. um, and like things keep falling in my lap with that, right? That is my true passion. And I've noticed over the past few months, the more that I'm doing the photo video work that 
you know, video work is really what I'm like, I could sit in front of the computer, sit mm -hmm. behind the camera, film and edit just for hours and hours and hours. And that's what I want to do. Right. So I am definitely cashing in on that passion. Um, I wish I could do a little bit, get a little bit more cash, mm -hmm. you know, but right now I'm getting experience, yeah. which is the most important part of the process. I feel um, I'm not so much worried about the money, but I do have the time now to like do work for, for, you know, for free. Yeah. And I'm yeah. okay with that. Um, you know, unless someone comes up to me with an idea that's super extensive and, you know, I know, but I also know now like what it costs to do a job and what my worth right, is when it comes right. to that type of stuff. So like, I'm not afraid to say like, yo, like that's a hundred bucks an hour, Yeah, you know, right. or that's, you know, that, you know, that's 150 an hour, you know, wh whatever it is. Um, but I'm making strides to get to the point where hopefully I could do that more and more often. Even with starting this other business that I'm trying mm -hmm. to start, I'm going to intertwine the two as much as yeah. physically possible. So if you see me, you know, and I'm, I'm going to, we're very close to, you know, I don't even, I don't even want to put it out there anymore because we, <laughs> you know, with starting my own business, it's like two steps forward, three right, steps back. Right. So I don't want to keep, keep putting it out there. But like, if you see me in a spot, you know, I, I visualize myself mm. behind this counter of this place. Right. Mm. But I also visualize myself there with a with a computer, you know, Still and with my camera, in. and then I can see myself in there making videos mm -hmm. and doing my thing and like serving people and doing and just intertwining it all and really mm -hmm. like that that's cashing in on my passion, right? And and so I think that's a big thing too, though, is like visualizing and and kind of seeing yeah, dude. That. Like I could see myself yeah. in there, you know, which is like sick because like usually you're just like oh, I don't know if I could do this, right? You kind of like give yourself, you doubt yourself. Right. And, and right now I'm just at a point where it's like, I know I can make it work. Mm. I'm going to make it work and I, I'm going to be, I'm going to be successful with it. Awesome. And, th and that probably also ties into like building your brand. Cause I know mm -hmm. in the first episode you were talking about like, or at least in the, in the first, you know, few, I don't remember if it was the exact first one, but I know you're talking about for 2018 that you really wanted to build your brand. You really yep. wanted to create and you started the website for yourself. You started, um, you know, doing that, that whole process and how has that been? For you? It's been incredible. So yeah, the website is like a work in progress. Yeah. It's like anything else, like, like a, um, you know, like a business card or mm -hmm. whatever. It's kind of like growing and changing over time. But like I did the 30 videos in 30 yeah, days, yeah. which is like a perfect example. You know, I took, mm -hmm. you know, I, I almost, you know, doubled my subscribers, awesome. um, from that experiment. Um, and not to mention that I learned a boatload mm -hmm of editing techniques and all this stuff. So, you know, yeah, I have that, I have the website and like I have the podcast and like that all is intertwined and that's all a part of, for me, uh, building the personal brand, you know, having the YouTube channel, having the podcast, mm -hmm. having my personal website, you know, like it's different to have a social media, have a Facebook or an Instagram and then have a website. Yeah. No one can take the website from me, right? right they right. can shut down Facebook, they can shut down Instagram you know, tomorrow They'd have to shut down the internet to get you out. Right. Yeah. Or, you know, the domain or what, however it works. But it, it's like, it's like the website is something that you'll have forever. You know, we don't know how long social media is going to be around. Right. So I've been putting a little bit more effort into it recently. And that's why I'm excited about the whole t-shirt thing. Right. Mm -hmm. Cause now I got, instead of using Shopify, I have it on my website, Oh, okay. you know, so that's andrewnice.com slash shop. If you want to, you know, grab a t-shirt to support the podcast slash shop. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so it's like that's all part of building the personal brand, man. And like I, I, it's been like a slow, steady thing, mm. but I'm happy that it's slow and steady right. because it's steady. I'm actually doing it. I'm not just like saying, "Oh, I'm gonna do this." Blah blah blah. I'm right. fucking. I'm doing it. I'm actually doing it. Awesome, awesome. And and how how important I think because I know another thing that we talked about too was like you know getting information from other people and and kind of not necessarily maybe like a full-blown mentor but like how important is it to you to get information and to talk to people that's like you know that you can get information from to kind of help you out it's everything yeah yeah the for a second i thought you didn't listen to the question <laughs> <Me too. laughs> <laughs> no so you yeah like i i want i want to just re reconfirm what you asked so like you you were you're saying like people help you along the way yeah right well, just and like, like how getting, important is it having people that you bounce ideas and collaborate with and you know that type of thing that and also like reaching out to people who like have something that you want to learn whether it's you know video editing skills or like marketing or okay, just I'm gonna, reaching out i'm gonna tell you a story about this uh -oh. this is a great topic uh, hold on, but let's let's go let's go live on Facebook first. Get it. You got kicked off. 
No, he's on I Instagram. I ended the one on Instagram, so we'll... Oh, was that was Instagram. He's yeah. on the IG feed. Yeah. Hold on, everybody. We're going live. We're going live. In three, two, one. Oh, no, we're live. <laughs> oh, we're live. I just don't know how to put it to a place where we can Here. all be seen. We'll just pass it around like a freaking... Uh, no, I'm you... not going to give the analogy. <laughs> you freaking kook. All right, so what was the question? So basically the question is essentially as far as learning and, and kind of getting information, how how important is it to, you know, reach out to people who have certain things that you're trying to learn, whether it's, you know, video editing skills or certain like just anything that, that you want to learn, how important is it to reach out? And how much has it been? Jet ski you? stuff. Dude. Jet ski stuff. Last night is a good example for that. Oh my that, god, dude. it's a perfect example, literally. Okay, so all right, so I'll start with let's start with um, creative stuff, like you know, editing, video editing, photo stuff, design stuff. You know, let's start with that, and I'll I'll go into the into the mechanical stuff. So in life, in any, I've learned that you're you need to ask for help, right? You always need to ask for help. So, and I know that I don't always have all the answers, right? So learning to ask people for help, whether it's on a creative basis or life advice or whatever it is, is very, very important. And like, you know, I started with your buddy, Abel, right? Mm -hmm. So like, I would always ask him about like camera gear, editing software, lighting techniques, gimbals, all this stuff, right? I don't even know him, right? But he was so generous and kind that he always shared time with me to like collaborate on ideas, right? I've never met him. I mean, we've maybe paid him like 40 bucks once to design a flyer. So it's not like I'm like a client of his or like right. a customer or anything like that. I'm just another person who shares the similar interest that he does and has the passion. And we're kind of on the same path as far as like, I guess, you know, career stuff and design and all that stuff goes. But like he's always... I, I would, we would have like hour long conversations in like DMS through Instagram and stuff like that, just about creative stuff. And like, you need to do that. Right. right. Cause I see, and if I see something that I like that he's doing, I'm like, bro, how did you do that? Like, how did you, what are the steps that you take? You know? And then, um, and then I also have, um, another buddy of mine, shout out to, to Matt. Um, he, his company is, uh, B team productions. Mm. Um, Tried another gentleman that, yeah, like, and he's, he's big into the jet ski stuff too. And like, I've never, I've never actually met, I've, I've never met him. Right. We just kind of connected through Facebook. Right. But him and I talk probably a few hours a week, every other day, every, you know, every few days on, on Facebook, every time that I edit a video, I'll send it to him. He'll edit a video. He'll send it to me and like, we'll bounce ideas off of each other. Right. So like, and like, and I see his stuff and I see the quality of his work and I'm like, damn, like it's that's legit. the kind of shit that I want to do. So like I hit him up and I'm just like, bro, like, how did you do this? What gear right. are you using? You know, what are your techniques? And like, like people are so kind that they share that stuff. Right. And it's different nowadays. Back in the day, it used to be like people would hold that shit in and they'd be like, no, I'm not telling you job like, my, security. Yeah, I'm not telling you my fucking trade secrets or this or that or the other and no matter, you know, whatever it is. But now it's different. Now it's like, you know, we want to help each other succeed and we want to help each other do well in life and whatever it is. So like now I, ref I return the favor. Right. So um, if someone wants to learn about, you know, editing videos or whatever, like the other day, you know, shout out to Danny Tobia you know, good friend of mine. Um, he wanted to do some video work for his, um, for his company. And he wanted, he's, you know, been doing some like videos of like houses and stuff like that, you know? And, um, you know, we sat here for like three hours the other night for a one minute clip that we made for Instagram, mm. you know? But it's like, it's like somebody took the time to do that to show me how, how to, how to make it work and how to make it look good. So I'm more than happy to, to, I would, you know, because then it also, refreshes my skills um and i learn a little bit about patience and i learn a little bit you know a bunch of other stuff but like you have to do that you know you have to be willing to ask for help you have to be able to collaborate with people and you have to know that like you know you, you don't really have all the answers all the time right mm. oh that's loud oh and it goes to the playback so, yeah, so we just ended the Facebook Live. We just want to give a little, you know, taste it out a little bit, try it out, a little trial and error. There were some people that, that were responding to it and stuff. The Palma was going in, dude. 
Why'd you end it? Why'd you I end it? You freaking it started brown. back up. I don't know. What a freaking brown guy you are. <laughs> Seriously, dude. Facts. These are facts. Son. Real brown guy. Plus, to add on that, like the jet ski stuff last oh, night. Oh, yeah. Uh, you didn't talk about the jet ski stuff. No, I'm pretty stoked. Drew uh, actually hit me up to go up to uh, Thrust. You guys are BFFs now? We're, we're back to BFFs, dude. We fucking Wait a second, dude. When did we ever... <laughs> No, Wait dude, a we second, hated, dude. We hated each other, you know? What? When the... did we ever stop being BFFs? I think that's just I your was personal... just trying to insinuate that to see if you would finally Admit catch it? on to the hint. But yeah, I mean, Drew hated me for quite a long time, <laughs> dude. And uh... <laughs> What the heck? No, I'm just kidding. But last night, yeah, he hit me up. He's like, you want to go to Thrust? Um, Shout out to Thrust. I was freaking just laying on my couch, dude, loving life. I was like, dude... <laughs> I said, I've been working so hard. I've literally been dreaming about just laying on my couch, doing, doing nothing. nothing. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to go, dude. So we went up there, met Chris Anazeski. Shout out to freaking Chris, dude. <laughs> just a jet ski god, you know, teaching us some little, uh, some little snippets about, about, uh, we're working on Drew ski. It's just mechanical stuff, mechanical stuff. We're doing some resin work. Oh, Nice. But he's just a he's a jet ski god. <laughs> yeah, so like okay, that's another great example, right? He's like like and that's another another industry too where it's like trade secrets, right? And he was yeah. telling us about trade secrets yeah. and he was telling us a little bit He's of, like no one he will was tell telling you us this. some things that no one else knows. Yeah, mm-hmm. but it's like he'll always be kind enough to share, yeah. you know, his knowledge and like I'll have to ask a million questions mm-hmm. in a day about random things whatever it is. Um but, but people always, people always, um, always share, share yeah. the wealth, you know? Um, okay. So when we, when we started the podcast, right. Mm. Um, we were at, we were all at, you know, specific points in time in our life. Mm. Um, you know, do you feel like Christian for you? Do you feel like, nope. dude, don't hit the freaking mic. <laughs> do you feel like you're, you're at a point now, like where you're closer to where you want to be? Like we started almost almost a year ago. Yeah. Do you feel like um, you're closer <laughs> to your goals? You're closer where you want to be. Like, no, absolutely not. I'm f- opposite direction. No, you I'm moved just, backwards. I'm just, I'm just kidding. No, yeah, hundred percent, man. I mean, like I said before, it's not really so. I'm. I really am trying not to put any sort of like, uh, you know, s- set anything in stone or like. Um, you said Get, not setting goals or not no, like, making your goals reachable in your mind? No, no, just like not trying to like get too attached to like the outcome. So like what we were talking about before, you know, the whole process, like I'm really, really just trying to fall in love with the process and like, you know, because I mean, as far as everything that I've like heard and like researched, like as far as books and, and all that shit, it's it, pretty much everything is always comes down to like, you know, people not really focusing on the result or like they get to a result you get the goal you get the whatever it is and and you're like you know now what or it may not feel like as great as you kind of pictured in your mind so i mean yeah yeah i'm closer i'm 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 definitely closer but it's not really so much like you know it's once i get like this amount of money or once i get like this thing it's not really like that i'm not closer to that i'm just i think i'm i'm um I mean, I'm just trying to figure it all out still. So yeah, listen, if you're not moving forward, you're Dude, moving backwards. Yeah. You know, yeah. you, you know, there's no standing still out here. And if you feel like you're moving forward, I mean, that's it. That that's was kind of yeah. that was kind of the question. Mm. Um, I mean, Jesse, I feel like you're freaking. <laughs> He's getting it. Dude, you're just out here annihilating it, dude. He's well, it. well, fellas, <laughs> like they say. Actually, I don't know what they say, but I definitely, um, I think from when we started this whole thing, like we talked about, like. I had some, some like unanswered like questions, you know, like I was like at a crossroads, didn't really know which way I want to go, but, but I'm definitely, um, I'm definitely moving in a, in a good direction and in a lot of different areas. I mean, obviously, you know, life is, uh, that thing that's always ever changing and you know, your, what you're looking for or what your goals are, are always like evolving into something else. But, you Mm -hmm. know, I'm, I'm always, you know, wanting to get more and accomplish more, but I've definitely, this year has been a pretty good year for progress in my life. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. You see what I'm saying? Um, 
Did you guys set any new goals since? Ye kind since then, not really set goal, but kind of like I have. I'm like a lot more interested in something right now, which is basically, actually, it's not really something that I just started. I mean, Andrew, I've talked to you about this on millions of occasions, but budgeting and like figuring out my finances, I've talked about it, like you were saying earlier, like millions of times, and I, I'm my priorities just have been kind of fucked up, but that's that's one thing I'm really trying to like get under control is is budgeting and okay. then I, I really want to like start investing a little bit more so it's i can't really invest with as much debt that i have so that's that's a big one mm. okay that's a good goal what about you um yeah like little stuff you know like right now the biggest thing that i want as far as a goal is kind of the same thing it's like more of a handle on on being financially responsible which i'm making some progress for sure but i really want to work towards putting some money to, to aside to uh and it's no secret as they say <laughs> but i'd like to make some sort of upgrade like within the next year of a uh, jet ski oh you know, i don't know maybe different haul same engine different haul new engine i don't know but I'd like to um, hear about that jet ski life. Listen, those goals are important, man. Dude, it's Material real Material goals are important. Whatever it is, you know, whatever it is that, that fires you up. Like what I have is great, but I just, I, I want to take the next the next step. With you want to do backflips? Not even necessarily backflips. I just enjoy the whole process of it, you know? I mean, that would be sweet, but it's not like, oh, I'm going to backflip a ski, but I'm, I'm into the whole riding and all about it. I just want to... Uh, I'd like to get something new. All right. So that's about uh, everything that we have. Uh, I had lined up. Um, so again, just want to say thank you to everyone who's been following along with the journey and the process. It's been incredible. Um, we're going to be posting today to give away the t-shirt. We want to give away a t-shirt um, to you know someone who's been following along with the process and the journey. Um, actually, got the shirt right here. Not like you could see it, but... Um, this is the shirt that we're going to give away. About that um, backside, dog. Um, <laughs> and it's very exciting for us again. Executed on an idea, have a physical, tangible product from something mm -hmm. that we've been working on very, very hard, and we want to share that with you guys. But again, the whole reason that we want to give away um, the T-shirt is also so that way we have the opportunity to sell the T-shirts, which will help us mm -hmm. um, just just pay for the hosting and just. Um, basically help with the expenses of the podcast right now we're coming out of pocket for the podcast so we want to eventually get to a point where it will you know pay for itself so we'll link the t-shirts um in this episode description uh but also on our social medias um and uh that's it thank you for listening with us and we'll see you next week boom